Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Fish Fried 4000 here with an update on the tank that's going to hell in a hand basket. I plan on dirtying this tank pretty soon. I gotta get all the. First, I wanna figure out what I'm gonna put in here. Then, I gotta get all the logistics worked out. I got a 10 gallon tank right next to this tank. Um, I'll probably move the fish over before I even order the plants. That way I can move the fish um, back to um, this tank if they're they turn out to be stressed out. I don't I don't think it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. You know, there's only seven fish in here. I think a I think a ten gallon would be able to put up with their bio load as long as I um, as long as I get the enough of the filter media into the ten gallon. I, I wonder if I'm going to be able to fit this big ass. Fluval 205 and a 10 gallon. Probably, uh, we'll see how it works out. That's why I'm, that's why I'm not or ordering my plants yet. So I'm not committed to, to tearing this thing apart and all that good stuff. And uh, just to give you an idea of how bad this tank is, look at that Java moss. The algae on the back is so thick that it just kind of grows up the wall. So if you have a, if you have a lot of patience, all you have to do is wait for um, and you want a javel moss wall. All you got to do is wait and you get something like that. And this javel moss and the, um, that's another story. And this javel moss it's gonna it's gonna be probably be a problem. I know I'm gonna end up with it growing on all my new plants. Hopefully, like once we get, once I get the big heavy root feeders in here, they'll um, they'll be able to uh, to um, outcompete the Java moss for the for the nutrients in the tank, much like they would with um, with just regular algae. So um, that's how the tank's looking. So I already made a video about this, but um, this is the dirt that I'm preparing for the 29 gallon. And um, it's been, you know, since I've been procrastinating for so long, it's been sitting here, you know, a couple weeks. I don't think this dirt's gonna be a problem at all for the plants, cause um, I mean, like I said, it's been sitting in in the water like this for for a while and um, when I set up my other my first dirter tank I I put the dirt in the aquarium and you know I did the I soaked it did a bunch of then flooded it did a bunch of water changes and um, you know probably you know four or five times four or five big water changes maybe more uh, let it sit for a couple days um, that that's um you know I think um what I'm doing here is um, you know even better than that so um the plants um the um and my other dirty tank did did as well as they did I don't think it's gonna be a a problem for the plants at all once I finally decide what the hell I want to get. And I'm worried these I'm worried these fish are gonna murder me in my sleep. I mean, I'm just taking way too long on this um, on this little project that I have going on here. I mean, look at him; he looks pissed. Need to do something with a sword. I don't know what. That's all I have decided now. I'm gonna do something with the sword plant. Maybe a crenum. Those things are. Yeah, those long ass leaves and you know I need something to to like break the midline of the tank you have know, like everything like towards the bottom just like bare water at the top that's gonna look lame yeah I've been rambling on for long enough um, happy Friday I guess later